Hey, what's good, everyone? Look, last man here. Got some sketch sharpening supplies in here today. Did get everything that I wanted, but I got everything I needed. Let's go and open this box up here. Take a little peek. See what we got here. I know what we got. But I figure I'll show you guys. I get my supplies through New England Sports Sales. They seem to be a a distributor, a local, not a local distributor, but a, a major distributor who other people get their stuff from. Put this right here. So that's why I started ordering. Look at a catalog, I'll pop up there. So I, they're in New England. I guess they're the official Blade Master distributor of North America. So instead of calling someone else that calls them, I just call them direct. I think that's how it works. Get my knife back out here. Cut the stuff right here. So what I got, some wheels, some rivets. Got a little gauge right here. The little leveler thing. This thing doesn't last very long. It gets kind of worn out right there. So I like to replace it. Almost every time I order a set of wheels, I'll get one of these things. And one and a pro tip, once you've used this so much where the paint scratched off, you could take this, You could uh, it's kind of glued on in the magnet right there. You could take it off and pop it on the bottom right here and you could use this right here. Here's some of the spare ones that we have right here. As you can see, this original one, I'm not sure why we got holes in this, but the original one right here is on the bottom and we switch it to the top right there because it gets really worn out. You can see right there and this too it gets worn out so we kind of rotate it and I feel like if it gets too worn it will give you like a false reading sorry if it gets too worn and give you kind of a false reading there so that's why I kind of order another one try to get these like I said once every five wheels every time I order I make one or two orders a year I try to get everything at once because it is being shipped from New England so I try to get everything at once not to make too many orders right here I believe these are Price says right there, don't get my glasses on. Honing stones. Got a pack of honing stones right there. You can get them for individual package. Those are more expensive. If you get the pack of four, it's cheaper because the individual ones, I think, are for retail. So these are called the teardrop or tapered honing stones. We got block ones too. This one's a finer grit than some stones I've seen in the past. But instead of four there, that'll last us again five wheels I like to place everything make an order every five wheels and five wheels will last us almost a year at least on our rink here sometimes I have to order something in the middle of the year like rivets or something and that's what these are these right here are copper rivets I don't really care about the box so much because I'm gonna dump these in a tray so you got your copper rivets right there, and it should have some washers in there too. I didn't ask about the washers. Did I need to ask about the washers? I thought the wa I did ask about the washers. I said I need some washers. So I think the washers are in there. Yeah, there you go. There's some washers right there. I don't know, they've been sending us black washers the last couple of times. One of my Zamboni drivers are kind of chipping on on that. Why, why, why is the washers black? It should be copper. I don't know, that's what they sent, so. Got some copper rivets right there. I'm going to throw these in the tray right there for the skate sharpener. These over here too. And we'll do a separate bin for that a little bit later. So that's that. Right here, we got some diamond bits. Did order two of these guys this time. I like to keep one for myself on the side. And one thing, I say, if you want to up your skate sharpening game, if you're like an intermediate skate sharpener and you really want to up your game and your level of skate sharpening quality, get yourself a new one of these things. This is the TSM 688, I believe. Yeah, 688, which is the more, uh, it's a premium bit. There's two type of bits. There's a premium and a standard. I always get the premium. In the past, I get the standard for everyone else and the premium for me as far as the carrots. But I'll tell you what. This, if you've been using your stone or your bit for a long time, you'll notice a big difference in skate sharpening, having a fresh sharp one. It just, the wheel gets you know, dressed so much more cleaner with a, a fresh bit than an, an older bit. So again, if you're, if you find that your skate sharpening is not as sharp as it used to be, I would look to replace your diamond bit. That, it really makes a big difference, at least in my opinion. And go ahead and comment below. It's next question right here I got for you guys. Kind of curious, how often do you change your bits? Now, I have heard, I've asked the guy who I bought it from, and he says guys will change them every wheel, every two wheels. 
I kind of wait every five wheels before I change the diamond bit. And maybe that's a little excessive. That's why maybe I notice that <laughs> between a new one and an old one, there's a huge difference because I wait too long to change it. So go ahead and comment below and what you guys, how long do you guys go before you change your diamond bit? If you guys go one wheel, two wheels, yeah, I guess, you know, if money not being an object in, you know, in a professional atmosphere, you probably want to, you know, change him every wheel if you could, you know. Yeah, certainly, but budget-wise, I don't know. I can see once every three wheels, but once every wheel, it seems a little excessive to me, even in best-case scenarios. So we go with the 8 MX Ruby. Turn open the box upside down, I guess. So we get the 8 MX Ruby right here. I don't say it's a standard wheel. This is a little bit more premium wheel but it's certainly standard for me because this is kind of what we use we usually use the blue wheel in the past i was using the blue wheel for rental skates and this wheel for customer skates figure skates hockey skates but i just went with this wheel right here the, the ruby wheel because the blue one yeah it was a budget wheel but you went through it a lot those rental skates typically have really hard steel some of the older figure skates like classics are really hard to sharpen so you just burning that wheel up anyway so I might as well get a premium wheel so you get some more more skate sharpenings per wheel at least in my opinion so I'm not sure it's not, not too much to add to this right here it's just some skate sharpening supplies again I didn't get everything I wanted but I got everything that I needed I needed some wheels I needed some copper rivets right there let's throw that right there I needed a new one of these things a diamond bit and if I could find where my little T-square is right here, I need a new one of these things. What I still need, I need some new cams for the skate sharpening positioner, the little locking cams. We love them. Two of them are kind of kind of floppy, so I like to get new cams. I did order cams in the past, but they sent me the cams to lock it down versus the cams on the side. You know, it didn't really matter because I you know, could replace those anyway. So, like I said, I got everything I needed, but not everything I wanted. This will do us for the rest of the season. We got plenty of rivets over there for the rivet machine. The steel rivets. We got the copper rivets right there. These things are definitely nice to have. And we have to replace someone's rivet. You hate to replace it with the improper rivet. So this should last us some time here. Go ahead and throw a comment down there and where you guys get your skate sharpening supplies. If a Zamboni driver, as a Zamboni driver, do you guys sharpen skates? Is it a pro shop thing? How often do you change your wheels? Well, you guys should change your wheel probably when it gets almost done. But how often do you replace your your diamond bit as well as how often do you guys replace if you guys use this right here? And I should show you the other half of that. So you know. And this is something that's due to get replaced here soon because it's wearing out inside. But this right here mounts on the skate. And you take this right on the tip of the skates right there. And it's say if you're holding the skate you know, with the heel facing back towards you and it's reading like this. That means you need to make a, a, a raise on the position, depending on how you have your thing positioned, but you need to go up on the positioner just to level out. And if it's this way, then you kind of, you know, I turn it sideways, you know, for at least for new people to give them a visual representation. Turn it sideways on the skate there, then you know if it's like this, then you need to know you need to go down. So this thing's real nice. There is a, a cheaper one of these things that just has one line versus all these little increments right here. I'd say definitely spend the extra money to get the ones with the increments because you have different skate blades with different heights so it's really nice if you just had this one right here if you had a skate edge right down here or, you know i think it's pretty sure it gets down there when the skate gets sharpened and your blade gets down you can see that so and it's it's just real nice thing to have so you're probably gonna replace this thing in a year or so i think this is like a couple hundred bucks for this right here i forgot how much this is but I get this thing replaced at least once a year. Every time I order five wheels, I get one of these things. I get a diamond bit. Then I order anything else I think I need. Not so much what I want, but what I need right now, this time of year. It's more what we need versus what we want. So, all right, but I should add too much more of this. Again, throw some comments down there and how frequently you guys change things out, where you guys get your supplies, things like that. Comments always make the channel better. That's what I got for you guys today. Thanks for watching. As always, hope you learned something. And that the local man says. Stay cool.